Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to explain how to execute uh, tests which are created in Catalan Studio on uh, testing bot. Testing bot is a remotely hosted uh, test execution platform. So basically it's a SaaS based solution wherein which you can subscribe and use the platform based on your testing needs. Okay, so testing bot basically supports uh, three different features. One is live testing, automation testing, and local testing. Okay, live testing is basically, uh, it's like a manual testing. While doing uh, manual testing of any uh, web-based application, you use your local browser which has been installed on computer. Exactly similar to that, you can access a virtually hosted uh, browsers, which is on testing bot through your browser, and you can test on different browser sets like in Chrome, Firefox, IE, it's Safari and more okay and also we can execute um, tests which are created on Catalan studio or any other framework uh, you can execute on testing bot so basically uh, testing bot has thousand plus thousand five hundred plus browsers combinations uh, we can use to uh, execute our automated test and also it supports local testing which is something like uh, applications which are hosted behind the uh, firewall or proxy in a big big size uh, companies so by using um, testing bot secure tunnel feature uh, those kind of applications also can be tested okay so in this particular video i'm concentrating on only an automation feature of a testing bot so that so we, we should be able to see how a test which are created on catalan studio can execute on testing bot okay yeah, so before start working with testing bot in Catalan Studio, uh, users should have an account created in testing bot. So uh, you can create a free trial where testing bot creates, uh, gives um, a certain period of a free uh, subscription, which can be used to explore platform. So in my case, I have already uh, created my account. So I'll be using that. So in your case, while practicing this, if you want to know about this, create one um, test account and start using it yeah so once you logged in um, this is how uh, it looks in a platform so at left side you can see a couple of uh, features like an American navigate to dashboard and see how many um, automated tests are executed and manual tests uh, information and automation builds so a lot of other features are there so you can explore that so with respect to automated testing uh, there's a small dashboard where you can see all the executed tests are listed um, give you a quick information about your test execution and if you go to uh, users account information you can see their um, uh, keys and security these two are very important for us to um, execute a Catalan studio test on testing bot okay so so basically we should be able to construct um, a remote execution grid endpoint url by using uh, these two informations key and secret so how we can do that um, it's quite very easy pretty straightforward you can go to uh, documents where in which you can find a lot of information about how to use this platform so I navigate to automated testing and examples tutorials since i'm going to show with this almost equal to java and groovy so you choose uh, test ng so in this particular page you can see that how to work with uh, testing bot using uh, a java based framework using test ng okay so in our case since we are using Ca catalan studio so uh, we don't need to much worry about that so we need this particular url okay so you can see that if you look at this url you can see that two uh, main information one is this which you have seen already um um, uh, secret and key right so these information this particular url is very important to execute on catalan studio okay so before before that let's go to catalan studio and create a project and create a test and see how we can execute that particular test on testing bot okay okay so in catalan studio create a project um let's create a new sample project uh let's create a new project project yeah project has been created you can see that here and 
so you can um, you know that I assume you you know how to create test uh, in Catalan studio if you don't know that uh, I have already a YouTube uh, video in my channel you can see how to create uh, test cases in Catalan studio in a different uh, modes you know in a scripting mode a recording mode and then even uh, advanced mode so so you can watch that video and uh, if you already know that it's pretty good okay so to create um, I created a test case here okay create a test case and give a name so to demonstrate and I'm, I'm using a sample application called as orange HRM so I'm giving a orange HRM login test that is a test which we're going to create now it's very simple so uh, to execute on testing bot click OK and um, so let's go to application go to new tab uh, orange HRM application yeah this is the web-based application which is pretty uh, simple and sample application we'll be using this to uh, demonstrate so you have uh, if you go to this page you can see that you have a username and password already printed there you can use the same thing admin admin and two three yeah so application is logged in now uh, once you navigate it here so just click on this and log out so very simple step I'm creating that to execute to see how that particular test um, can go through Catalan Studio to uh, testing bot. Okay, so in Catalan Studio, we'll use a record web application feature. Um, click on that, and you can see that you already pasted here. I use uh, Chrome to record scenario. Okay, so applications came up here. I can see um, I should be able to record by looking at that uh, red mark. Okay, enter username. It should be caps and admin one two three is the password. Click login. You can see that now in Catalan, uh, the steps which are I'm performing on the application is recording here. Okay, and go to and click on logout okay it's logged out now so for me to demonstrate those many steps are enough click ok and if you need any modification after recording you can do that so what I do in my case um, open browser navigate to URL I just add one more step maximize window after URL has been navigated um, and I'm clicking on username pretty much another this particular step is not required I just delete that uh, set in the text admin set uh, encrypted password any of the password which I have entered it's been encrypted and click on password welcome admin and log out pretty much fine so for me this many steps are enough okay so click OK let's ask uh, where these object information should be stored I say um, under object repository create a folder called login um, store there so all these information will be created under this um, okay great so all the tabs have been imported into act test and uh, all the objects on which we have performed the action are stored in the login folder very good um, now what I should do so we should be able to execute this on testing but before executing that testing mode let me execute this on local and see execution is working fine or not uh, to do that go to execution tab and select Chrome what I'm expecting here all the steps what we are seeing here should be executed and pass without any error uh, so that another will give me a kind of a confident to execute on testing bot yeah so basically in your building real test cases in your application always make sure you're running them locally and make it work and and execute on testing mode so that you know so you'll have that confident you'll not be spending more time or uh, capturing the wrong test on testing bot side okay so yep execution is working fine so i think this particular test should be fine to execute on testing bot so what to do to next step is we need the url right so in catalan studio we have a remote execution okay when i click on that 
it'll say okay enter remote endpoint the grid url to execute this so this is where we should be able to copy paste the remote url which we have seen in the testing bot grab it let's go back to testing bot um you can see under here test ng uh pretty much good okay copy this you know to do any changes in this case copy go back to catalan studio paste here and click ok excellent so my expectation now this particular test should be start executing on testing bot um let's see okay browser opened oh there's another <coughs> okay let's see what is the error um what it says unable to open browser please um specify either browser name or device information okay pretty much good good information because uh, it's failing for the good reason because uh, you have i have given while executing i just given uh, the endpoint url but that is expecting testing bot expecting at least minimum um browser informations our operating system information should be provided so basically by looking at this error what you can see it needs you should be able to provide a desired capability of um remote uh selenium browser yeah so how where we can give that if you go to project settings you can see that desired capabilities option go to custom so this is where you should be able to provide um custom capability information to execute on any remote based browsers okay so I give a name um testing bot yeah and the driver type is remote so you can see that the preferences automatically is coming up give the url okay this url is fine so now let's start let's give minimum information uh browser name okay so i'll say please execute this on chrome fine so make sure remote web browser type is selenium because that's a um uh, you know the remote server is running on testing bot okay click okay click okay again and okay perfect now go to execution tab uh, under custom capabilities you should be able to see testing bot the name which you have given under custom desired capabilities okay click on this um hopefully this time this particular test should be able to execute on testing bot okay um wait for this log okay browser open browser and user set preference browser name is chrome I picked up the url um uh, i don't see any error go to testing bot and see that particular test is executing or not wow you can see that so there is new entry in the dashboard so something is running here that means the test which is running here which we have created is executing on this you can see execution has been completed at catalan side in testing bot it says okay execution has been done it took 32 second you can go inside so you can see that name since we have not given any name while executing so i just give take taken some random name uh, if you go inside um the video has been captured you can see that um it has been executed on chrome browser the browser name we have given we had given a uh, chrome and it picked up the windows 7 operating system and browser is opened and you can see that whole execution how it happened on the testing bot is recorded as well so enter the username click on login button went inside and you can see logged out perfect so execution uh, is working so this is how we can execute um catalan test on testing bot okay so a lot of customization we can do it so by uh, by providing multiple uh, um uh, desired capabilities we should be able to control all these information okay 
uh, since we have given only Chrome, so it picked up whatever uh, version is available in the testing bot. But still, we should be able to execute Chrome on particular version and particular oper operating system. Okay, so that you can try that. I, I hope um, this particular video can help you to understand basic information about executing Catalan test on testing bot, and um, maybe you can you can you know you can start from here to learn more. So you can drop your um, comment if, if you need more information how to work with testing bot in advanced level. Uh, you can comment in my YouTube. I'm happy to do more and more video on this. Thank you.